Now in this particular area, what we're going to learn about is OneNote 2010 tools. What we're going to discover is that whether you're inside of meetings, whether you're in class, or whether you're actually trying to deal with phone calls, most people tend to find that they need to write something down that they hear or they need to jot down some information about the data so that they can remember it later on. Microsoft provides the perfect type of doodle area for you to be able to capture that information. And so what we're going to do in this section is show you how you can use the tools inside of OneNote's electronic notebook to allow you to store information in a way that seems convenient and natural for yourself. The first thing I'm going to do here is click on New Page to add a new page. You'll notice that if you want to add a title for the page, this is the section that you would go ahead and click in. In this area, I might decide that I say, my focus is going to be on notes. When I type in this area, the title for that placeholder area is reflected on the right side of the page. Furthermore, if I decided that I want to click in the page, I'll notice that I get this area. This is referred to as a note container. Every time you point and click in any area of Microsoft OneNote's page, it will create a container. When you begin the process of entering in text, let's say, I might say, keep information stored. This puts the information inside of the container. If I click in this area, I can say, change the list later. It allows me the opportunity to put the information in that section. If I wanted to place the data down here on this part of the page, the note container would allow me to say, take pictures today. Whatever I want to do with those note containers in terms of entering data, I am not restricted to staying in one space. And that's some of the flexibility that Microsoft's note containers provide. These containers are really good for storing any kind of information that you can think of, such as text, it could be audio files, it could be links, it could be pictures, it could be a host of other types of information that you could have possibly copied and pasted from other areas, such as the internet, it can come from other files that you've created, and Microsoft OneNote allows you to store all of that data right here inside of the note container. I want to point out these containers, when you hover over them, they can be moved around so that later on when you decide to organize them, you can put them in any space that you desire. All you do is hover over the gray area, wait for your mouse to look like a four-headed white arrow, and move it to the desired location. If you decided that you wanted to resize these containers, you could. For example, I can move my mouse over to the right side and I can increase the width of that particular note container. If I want to shrink it and make it look this way, I can. So you do have that flexibility. I'm sure you've noticed by now that when I hover over a different note and click inside of a different note container, the boundaries of the previous note actually disappear so that those borders are no longer visible unless I make that note container active. Another feature that's pretty wonderful about Microsoft OneNote is that you can take the disorganized information and you can hover over it if you desire to merge it with other note containers. So in this instance, I'm going to hover over this area and I'm going to wait until I get that little plus sign in the background. When I hover my mouse over it, my mouse looks like a four-headed white arrow. I'm going to left-click that information. I'm not going to let go. And I'm going to just drag the text to where I want it to be. At this point, I can see that those containers are merged. And now I have, instead of three note containers, I have two. If I want to reorganize the data within this box, I can. I can move my mouse over this area, and I can just left-click and drag it up. And it allows me to take the content and rearrange it in the manner that I see fit. If I decide to take this note container and have the information merged, I can left click on that data and again I can drag it into that same space and again I can actually rearrange it until my heart's content. That's what you can do with the information inside of Microsoft OneNote. If you desire to go back and separate the information again, you can. You can left click on that information and just move it out of the container and now you'll notice that you have the two containers again. 
If you don't like what I just did, all you do is take a look up here at the Quick Access Toolbar and to undo those actions you can click on the Undo button in order to get it to look the way that it was prior to you making any changes. Let's say that I want to take this note container and put it in another area. Let's say I no longer want it to be on the notes page in OneNote Guide. However, I might desire to have it reflected in the book section and I'm going to have it on a new page. And so in this area I'm going to delete the information that I see here. I'm going to navigate back to the OneNote Guide section and I'm going to hover over this container and by clicking it, it is now selected. If you take a look at the Home tab and you want to cut this note container, you click Cut. You'll see the note has been copied to the clipboard. At this point, I'm going to navigate to the section and the page that I would like to have this note. So I'm going to click here because this is where I would like for the note container to be placed. And at that point, I have the ability to just click in the space and say paste. By doing that, I now see that the information is present. When I navigate back to the OneNote Guide section, I can see that that note container no longer has any data available.